All right. Well, wonders never cease to amaze in the technology world. And today we look at turntables that allow you to record an album onto an MP3 player. Of course, our tech expert, Mark Saltzman, is here with all the details. Good morning. Good morning. I hope our viewers have their sound up because otherwise they're going to think, why is the tech guy bringing a turntable on? What is that? <laughs> yeah, what's a turntable? Yeah. Actually, that's true. Uh, some of our younger viewers may be saying, what? what's a record? What's vinyl? Okay, Not for old guys. Yeah, like exactly. Yeah, we grew up with this kind of stuff. So the idea is this. We've seen turntables that plug into your computer that lets you archive your old record collection and, and rip it into CDs or MP3s that you can enjoy in your car or on your iPod or what have you. But I found a turntable from a uh, Richmond Hill-based company. This is the, uh, from a company, it's the, the product's called Technosonic, and it actually records the vinyl right to either a USB stick like this, a USB thumbstick, that's one way to record your albums right onto it, so without the need of a computer, Anthony. Or a flash memory card, much like you have in your digital camera. Mm -hmm. Or directly to a uh, USB-based MP3 player. So this is just the cord, but here's the MP3 player here. This is from Creative. Many players from Sony and SanDisk have a USB connection. And you simply plug it in, drop the needle, and uh, it rips it in real time, of course, so it's not going to be fast or anything, right into MP3. And I think it's a very convenient way to archive that old collection of yours uh, into you know, a digital format. Absolutely, because I think a lot of people still love the sound of the old vinyl. Complete There's something with, that comes yeah. with that little crinkly sound. Yeah, from below. complete with pops and hisses. So here's uh, my old Super Tramp album. I don't know if people are helping <laughs> here. Tramp. You're dating yourself. Back. I totally am dating myself. But, uh, you know, and again, you just press record. Also, it does require, I should mention, my mom's got, for example, a bunch of old 78s. Now, that's, mm -hmm. that's going back. Now, I'm dating my mom here. Uh, but uh, you can even take this, the 78s and record them, as well as 45 singles as well. Mm -hmm. Plus, Anthony, there's a built-in CD player, so it doesn't burn to CD. That would have been really neat if you can do yeah. that as well. There are turntables that do that. Do you think that. that's next? Well, it's, there, there are dedicated uh, vinyl to CD burner uh, products. I would love to see it in this. But what, uh, what you can do at the very least is listen to your yeah. music, listen to uh, CDs that you've burned MP3s or WMA files onto, or copy from CD to a USB stick. So I took some old CDs of mine and also copied them right to the USB thumbstick. So uh, that's it. It's a pretty neat little product. It's so one, what are we looking at? Yeah, $199, mm -hmm. which is reasonable. For half the price, you can get a turntable that goes directly into your computer. But I think some will enjoy the ability to do all that uh, with without um, without needing a computer, not to mention it's got speakers and it's got an AM FM radio and it's a CD player. Mm -hmm. So it's a standalone experience, if you will. So when it, with the record version, it pretty much has all the problems. Sometimes right. the, the vinyl has yeah. been criticized. For yeah, sometimes. great point. The turntables that plug into your computer often comes with software that lets you eliminate the pops and hisses from vinyl. This does not. It's a straight recording. You get to choose the bit rate, so the higher the number, so 256 kilobits per second will sound better than 128 kilobits per second, but the trade-off is that it creates a much bigger file, but it will come with all the pops and hisses that your vinyl has. Um, you know, but it's still a great little product, and, and it does fit, I think, a good market. Absolutely. If you want to learn more about it, you can go to technosonic.com. There are a few turntables there, so the model number for this puppy is TCD, as in Thomas Charles David, 98. For 199. What a great item! Obviously, yeah. I mean, are there a lot of products like this? Uh, no, not ones that are standalone record right to an MP3 player. No, usually you have to connect it to your PC. All right. Well, Mark Saltzman is our tech expert, and of course, if you have any questions for him, you can send them to GameGuy at Canada.com. If you'd like to read his blog, you can visit Sync-Blog.com.